welcome back my name is jessica from jessica's craft time and today is our whip and chat 14 so it's where i talk about um what's been happening in my life um so i started this cross stitch over the weekend i took it away to camp with me and i've done a little bit so just move that out of the way i've done a little bit i'm working on the green so that's going to be fun. Um, I'm enjo really enjoying doing it. I definitely enjoy more of the block colouring than chopping and changing. But it's coming along quite nicely. We've done the swirl here, the swirl here, and I'm just starting to work my way up with the green. Or should I say teal? It's probably more of a teal colour. So that's about all. I've been working. Let me get my... Um, this one out that we should finish today um i've been working on my monkey from diamond art club and it's just left my mind i can't think of what the name of it is i can't think of its actual name so i've been working on that this week um so i've done almost all of the 310 definitely living the 310 life um it's taken me a long time but we've got there um i've just got a little bit of the black to do within the monkey it is a monkey i'm doing isn't it i think it's a monkey i think i even forget what animal it is so I've started on the colour and I'm working my way up. Normally I do a block at a time, but for this one I did the 310 round the edge because it's all black around the edge. And now I'm just working from the bottom up. I'm still waiting for lots of things. Let's get something out. Um, X3. Um, I'm still waiting for quite a few things to come in. I've got about seven or eight diamond paintings to come in when they decide that they will arrive um so yeah just waiting for that i haven't had much at all come in in the way of orders but um last night i found on facebook from myers they have this australiana fabric in their bag a mug a coin purse i must have just missed that x because i can't see any others a coin purse and a tea towel and they're Australian animals on top of each other so I thought that I might I might open them up on the page when they come in I thought it was hilarious <laughs> but number nine so I got some of those they shouldn't take too long because it's just from Maya what I did get in however is I got this pen which was just off AliExpress, and it literally is just like a wax with um, gonna, with it looks like a magazine page wrapped around the edge. So I thought I'd give it a shot for. What am I doing? H, yeah. For my specials, and it seems to work. I got two in, so we'll give this one a crack, and then we'll try the other one. This was, I think, about $2 and it took about six weeks to come, which is pretty standard. I keep trying to order pretty places from Etsy, but of course, every time I end up getting on, they're all sold out. So I thought, mm. so I don't know of anyone else that does something like this that might be handmade. If you know of anyone, please let me know in the comments and I'll try and get some. But yeah, other than that, everything I've ordered is just, Australia Post is just not, it's so slow. Can't believe how slow it is. Um, and it's not the seller's fault at all. It's, can't be done. I received, which will be coming up in the next week or so, something that I've been waiting on for ages. That took two months to come which it shouldn't, and especially with the price you pay for shipping, but you can't really do anything about it. So what have we been up to since we last chat? Well, end of week was preschool, as usual, for my little man. Um, and I just spent, I think, one day 
I really just didn't do much. I just crafted. Wednesday, I did some videos. Thursday, I did the bare minimum. I did some crafting, and that reminds me, I've got some washing to go out that I forgot to do before I started this video. Um, and then Friday, I just spent, I spent four and a half hours cleaning the house, changing sheets, cleaning the bathroom. Literally 10 seconds after my son walks in the house, there's a sandpit on the floor. I couldn't believe it. He kicked his shoe off across the room and it landed on the floor and a pile of sand fell out of it. He'd obviously had a fun time in the sandpit that day at preschool and brought it home with him. I was like, really? The house stays clean for 10 seconds after you walk in. And then it went downhill from there. That was it. House is no longer clean. Can't do anything about it. Um, a is eight. So, yeah, Friday night, um, he went off to his grandparents and hubby and I headed up to camp again. We would have been up there. We're going back up there again this weekend. Four out of the five weekends. But we had a purpose this time. Well, we have every other time, but the gate, the front gate had broken earlier this year. The hinge had snapped. They're very heavy gates. And we've been waiting until we had a weekend that we could get a few people together up there, someone that could weld and get this gate put back on because it takes about four four to six men depending who's there to actually get the gate off well move the gate round because you've got to move it so 10 this pen is working really well i really like it um so we got the gate finally got the gate off it had seized the top Hinge had seized as well. So we finally managed to get the gate off. And in the morning we'd done a tip run because we had to wait for someone else to show up to help us. And they were only coming up that morning. And the road that they normally take had had a car accident. So they had to divert around, which took a fair bit more time for them to get up. So we did a tip run in the morning, which was good because the big electronic whiteboard thing that we had um was quite heavy and bulky and i was having a bit of trouble lifting it with hubby so someone else was able to give us a hand doing that that must be 12 because it's not numbered so we um did that and then got the gate off and the boys started now the last time it was welded he did a really good job on it I had a lot of trouble getting the previous hinge off. While he was doing, while the boys were doing that, I was mowing. And there's quite a bit of mowing to be done around the property. But because it's set in the bush as well, before you can even mow a section, you need to walk the area and pick up any of the large twigs and branches and sticks that have come down or else they'll wreck your mower. So you've got to do all that. And they kept going and I did some more weeding and removed a few things that needed to be removed. And it got to three o'clock. We hadn't had lunch. We were starving. But we stupidly didn't think when we got back from the tip to leave a vehicle outside the property and what did we do when we dropped the gate we dropped it across the gateway so we couldn't get a car out without moving the gate which was too much effort so we're like we'll keep just powering through and then we're thinking about giving up because is that meant to be there yeah i think i've just pulled the back no we're thinking about giving up because it was just it was just taking so long and 
the person welding, well, hubby hasn't welded for about 16 years. And the last time the person that was welding welded was when he um, last fixed the gate, which was about six years ago, we think we worked out. So he was out of practice and they were struggling and struggling and struggling. And we're like, all right, it's starting to get, the clouds are starting to get a bit dark. It's going to rain. We've got to pack all these power tools up. Because you can't be doing that in the rain. Um, let me just get my next one too. Like, we're just going to have to call it a day and work on it again the following weekend. Why is there a black? There's a black. I'm just going to do it this color. And then hubby's like, we're just going to have to, you know, if you can try practicing during the week. I don't like it so much for the little round ones. But for the big ones, it's awesome. Um, we'll just have to, you know, if we can't, if you don't think you're up for doing it next weekend, we'll just have to hire a um, mobile welder. Then Harvey remembered that up the street he had seen one of the neighbours that always had his garage door open and he had some sort of workshop in there and he's always tinkering on cars. And this is what I love about the country. Not so much your city, but more in your country. So we walked up there. He's like, yeah, I can weld. And we're like, oh, well, do you want to make some cash next weekend? Because we're like, we're done for the day. Just, we're done. And he's like, oh, look, unfortunately, I'm away next weekend. He goes, what about now? And we're like, okay, let's let's just do it. So he came down, had a look, and he's like, yeah, I can do it. But he goes, the tools that you have here, mine are more powerful. And I think most of your issue is the fact that you're trying to weld something that's quite heavy duty. And your welder is just not strong enough. So that explains why they were having issues welding. They didn't quite have the right tools for the job. So he walked back up the street, came back with a wheelbarrow with all his equipment. 45 minutes later, the gate is back on and swinging. We've made a new friend and met one of the neighbours. He wouldn't take all the money we gave him. He would only take some of it. So we've offered to bring him some home brew that a mate of ours makes. Um, and the gate was swinging and the boys were like, why didn't we do this four hours ago? <laughs> because they wouldn't have wasted all day trying to get this gate to swing. But it's working. It's back up. It latches perfectly. The latch is not stiff at all. We've made a new friend. So there's positives. But then, by then, it had been, it was like 4.30, I'd gone in, vacuumed the house, cleaned up, um, cleaned up the kitchen, packed the cars. It's like 4.30 by now. And we're starving. It was actually quite warm out in the sun, so we were really thirsty. We were starving. Like, all right, let's go to the pub and get steak and cider. Fill our bellies, have a, have a cold drink, and then we'll head down off the hill. Because we've still got another two-hour drive once we leave there to get home. We get to the pub, and we're too early. All they have going is a pie. And we're like, no, no. So we went up to the kebab shop up the road and got snack packs for all of us. And then there's some benches on the side of the road in amongst sort of the grass area so we sat down and ate until it rained us out and we were very full and then we're like oh no now we've got to fight the food coma <laughs> driving home so that was all right we made it home we have a swinging gate i'm gonna turn him around so i'm not leaning over him we have a swinging gate we made it home we were full and um one another big job done so that was really good and then sunday hubby and i um, mark was still down at the in-laws so hubby and i had a quiet day at home 
had a leap in and I just did some crafting. I didn't even do any videos. I just did crafting. I worked on my diamond painting and it was really nice and relaxing. We went down to the in-laws for dinner and um, got home about nine o'clock Sunday night. So that was nice. Um, and then we're back up to camp again this weekend for some more working bee with the whole COVID thing. No one had really been up there during the middle of the year and like any other house and property, work needs to be done. Maintenance needs to be done. Um, there's quite a lot of garden area that needs to be maintained. So heading back up there this weekend um, because we're limited on numbers. Mark is back down to the in-laws for the weekend, which he loves. They're doing, apparently they're doing, my mother-in-law works at the university and apparently they've started doing a experiment. I'm not sure what they're doing. But Mark has to go and check on it this weekend to see how it's going. They started an experiment last weekend. So who knows? I'm sure I'll hear all about it Sunday night when we pick him up. But yeah, so another big weekend coming up. But that's okay. Um, we'll get some more work done. Won't have to mow this weekend, which is good. Don't have to take the mower. It's hard work because it's not flat either. Most of the areas are on a hill that needs to be mowed. So it's hard slog. And my mower, I don't like it. Um, I like to have the catcher on because if you have just the back open, because you are mowing over some quite, they're not thick grassed areas. There's quite often twigs and rocks and bits and pieces. So I don't like having it just open at the back because all those bits shoot out at your legs and hurt your legs. So... Right, I just do it with the catcher. And then what did we do Monday? Monday it was just Mark and I home. So I think we just went up to the shops. What did we yeah, we went up to the shops. We just had a quiet day at home because after being away all weekend, he's always pretty tired after he comes back from the in-laws because they spend all weekend doing lots and lots of stuff. They don't stop, so normally it's a fight to get him out of the house on a um on a Monday after he's been back he's just like mommy I just want to stay home and play with my toys so I had to had to go to the supermarket so we did that and then hubby's away for a couple of days so it's the first time he's left me here it's normally me leaving him to go to Melbourne it's the first time he has left me here on my own so he's away for three days. So we had to go and get him some food to go away with Monday. And he headed off yesterday morning, which is Tuesday. And he'll be back Thursday. So I always f film my whip and chats on a Wednesday. Because it's the day that I have the most time to sit and find time that it's fairly quiet that I can just chat. So I got up this morning and um, I said to Mark, I'm like, oh, Mark, I miss Papa. I miss Papa's cuddles. He goes, Mummy, you should have just come into my bed and get, I would have given you cuddles. I'm like, oh, you're so sweet, little man. But he has a thing. He always comes into our room for cuddles in the morning. That's feeling not very tacky. He always comes into our room for cuddles in the morning. And he's really funny. So even the mornings, if for some reason I've had to wake him up for something. So, you know, a preschool morning or I've had to wake him up to go somewhere. He'll wake up, but then he's like, mummy, no, we have to go and have cuddles in your bed. So I've always got to allow that extra time for him to get up, go to the toilet, go into our room. And then he wants cuddles for at least five minutes in bed before he'll get up and start his day and it can be annoying on those mornings you just want to leave the house but then I'm like no I have to I have to stop myself and go no he's not always going to want your cuddles he's not always going to want your kisses and he's not always going to want you know cuddles in bed before you get up in the morning so 
enjoy it while you can. So I do. But that's been about our week. We got to find there's going to be lots of these. There's a cross there. I'm going to have to get all these little bits that I've missed as I go. Or else I'll never see them again. Um, yeah, we haven't haven't done much. He's at preschool, so the plan. I really want to get my sewing machine going. I've got a few projects I want to do. So I'm thinking that I might... I'm guessing that's probably not anything. Um, I'm going to just put a blue on it. I'm thinking I might tomorrow I've got to do a Stampin' Up! video I've got to make Hubby's birthday card so I'll do that that'll already be out by the time this whip and chat comes out so I need to do that tomorrow morning or this afternoon I'll see how the day goes and then I'm thinking maybe that next that Thursday I might even uh, pull the sewing machine out and do some sewing I haven't been on my sewing machine in months and months um, I did a fair bit of sewing in January for camp for all our awards and badges and all the little bits and pieces and but I really haven't touched it since I got back and I found out I've got a few friends that are pregnant so I normally make um, a quilt for anyone that has is having their first child I make a quilt so I'll have to um, have a few quilts to make they're generally like baby quilts they're not huge so they um, don't take too long to make and I generally just do a fairly simple, repetitive pattern on them. So, got a few quilts to make, and I've got a few Christmas gifts I want to make, which I haven't done. So I need to do because if I don't, it's going to be Christmas. Anyone else scared that Christmas is going to be on us before we know it? Three, because I totally am. I still have quite a few Christmas cards to make. Teacher's gifts are done. I need to finish making tags for the little boxes for preschool. So I'm doing, if you didn't see my Stampin' Up, I've got these little white boxes that I'm just making tags with some leftover bits that I used on other projects. So we're just going to, Mark can just write from Mark on the back. I'm not going to name them because I figured that's a bit hard for the preschool to hand out um, if they're just per like one per child um, they don't have to try and match up the names or anything so I've got another 20 I think I've made one other tag or two other tags so I've got another 25 tags to make which will be fun now I've confused myself um, and then I need to get all the gifts that I've been storing over the year down and sort them out and find out who else I need to buy for. Because I'm not one that likes leaving it to last minute. And we've got our Christmas decoration already, our yearly Christmas decoration. So that's a bonus. We're done there. So I just really have to sort presents. And I think other than hubby's, parents I've done all the kids I'm pretty sure I just have to pull everything out and see and the hard thing is um, I'm not sure if we will make it to Melbourne for Christmas so if we're in Melbourne it means we will be with my sister and her two kids so I normally get throughout the year I normally get um a couple of things that all the kids will get in their stocking from Santa so I have to sit down with my sister and find out 
how much she's giving to her kids because I like to try, we like to try and keep it kind of even between the two, the kids, especially the two elders. Harper's younger, she's only one, so she will sort of know what's going on, but not, not really. She won't sort of remember it. But the two older kids are... One will be five just after Christmas and then Mark's five in March. So I like to make sure they have a couple of exactly the same thing in their stocking from Santa. I think we're done. So that, you know, it looks... Oh no, I found some. It looks like Santa brought them, so... I just need to go with my sister to see if she see if she's got anything. But then we don't know if we're going to actually be able to get down there for Christmas, which I will be really really bummed about if we don't. It'll make it really hard and we'll make it 3 years between being down there for Christmas because we alternate Christmases. We spend one with my family and then one with my hubby's. But I can't just switch them around because my sister does the same with her in-laws. So the year that we're with each other, we're with each other. And then the following year, she's with her in-laws. So we can't really change it around or else it means we'll be odd years to each other. How did that get there? That probably shouldn't be that colour, but I'm going to put it back there anyway. Doesn't matter. Oh, look, I've missed the whole section there. Whoopsie. Um, so yeah, that's, I really hope I don't have to try and post their presents down because we'll have to do it like mid-November at the latest because things are taking ages. But one of the gifts, because one of my nieces has her birthday a couple of days after Christmas, I'd have to send two gifts for her and one of her gifts is quite big and quite heavy so it would totally suck if i need to send them but i think we might if we don't make it for christmas we might um if we can't we might try and do it christmas you know in january or something but that's probably enough of me waffling today um there it is finished i'm just having a look to see you're probably screaming at me going it's there it's there Oh, look, no, not quite finished up here. So one thing I, I dislike about um, specials is that I find it harder to make sure you have all the symbols. When you're doing a full or a partial, when you're doing a full canvas, you can easily see because you have a gap where there's nothing. But because there's areas of this that has nothing, I always tend to, I'll pick this up again in a day or two and have a look back over it. So I'm pretty sure this one came from FG Normal. I have to go and put all my rhinestones away. And that pen was just off AliExpress. It is a nail art gem picker-upper thing. And I really liked it. I did get another one, which I didn't use today. Let me show you this white one. And this came in a 10-pack, but... I think it leaves a little bit of residue and it's um a little bit harder but that one i'm loving that's going to stay out here for all my special drills and we're done so thank you for watching today i hope you enjoy my videos if you've got any questions please pop them below and i'll answer them either in my next whip and chat or respond to your message i love the specials oh, need to press them all down they're just something that gives you a little bit of sparkle. So there's the last one we've done. Um, as for what we'll do next week, I'm not sure. I might find another small canvas to finish. Or we might finish um, a Diamond Art Club. We'll see. I don't know if I want to start another one just yet. So we'll see how the week goes and what I'm up to with the one inside. We might... Look, I've just found another one. We might just um, work on something that I'm working inside. I might bring it out. The only thing is um, it's a little bit harder when they're bigger because my desk is not huge. So we'll see where we're at. 
um, I'm going to go and pack down, put all my gems from here. I'll go and put them in my extra containers inside. And I'll see you all next week. Hope you have a great week. Bye.